Thank you very much for joining us. Storm Watch 9, weather on the web, moving through the overnight period. More snow will fall uh, for some, but it's not a one size fits all by any stretch. As a matter of fact, after about two or three in the morning through the pre-dawn hours, a lot of the snow will be hitting northern zones as the dry air takes over anywhere from Concord down through Nashua to the coast uh, and back into the Monadnock region. Having said that, watch out for slippery travel into the Friday morning commute, even as the snow has shut down. Why? Well, temperatures stay below freezing all night into the early part of Friday morning. Speaking of early Friday, strong winds begin to take over starting at say 5, 6, 7 a.m., mostly in southern New Hampshire, in peak late morning through midday, possibly with some gusts reaching 45 or 50 miles per hour. Then the winds go lighter after two or three in the afternoon. That's why we have the impact weather through three o'clock on your Friday afternoon. After that, all the snow up north is gone and the winds are coming down quite a bit. So here's the timeline on the snow overnight tonight. Notice after about 3 a.m., very little happening farther south. Could be a passing flurry, but the steady or accumulating snow farther north. So no additional accumulation after about 3 a.m. south of the Lakes region with more snow flying up north through the morning commute on Friday. So we'll stop the timeline at 7, 730. More snow in the White Mountains in the Great North Woods. Even some sun developing as early as sunrise in southern zones as the winds begin to freshen and you can tell the wind direction out of the northwest again by late morning, early afternoon, possibly as high as 40 or 50 miles per hour. By early afternoon on Friday, could be a few lingering flakes up north, partly sunny elsewhere. And again, the winds remain the big story. Additional snowfall, maybe another coating to a half inch, a total statewide on average one to three with three to six farther to the north. Again, that would be mainly in the higher elevations. Again, the concern going forward on Friday, slippery travel early morning, but the wind starting to take over with those gusts up to 40 or 50 miles per hour. There's a wind advisory for concern for some scattered power outages. So watch out for some down tree limbs, a slight chance of down power lines. And again, the greater threat for that will be Merrimack County, uh, Sullivan County down through Cheshire, Hillsborough and Rockingham peaking during the 9, 10 a.m. through 2 p.m. time frame on Friday. And you can see that reflected in the timeline for the wind gusts. After about 9 or 10 in the morning, they start to crank up even up north to about 30, but farther south, 35 to 45 miles per hour. But then by early Friday evening, the winds go much, much lighter. Temperatures overnight tonight, certainly cold enough to support slippery travel on the roadways. So watch out for that if you're traveling through the morning drive on Friday. But again, a lot of the accumulating snow is long gone in the southern half of the state. Tomorrow, the focus is on the gusty winds all over southern New Hampshire with lingering snow up north. By Saturday, clouds and some breaks of sun. There could be a passing snow shower and a bit breezy, 20s north and 30 south. Bright a bit colder on Sunday and then a bit of a warming trend with mainly storm-free weather Monday right through the middle of next week.